fingers crossed for lesbians. Hello everybody, it's your girl Jay and today I am here with my January TBR for 2021 and if you are new to this channel then you do not know this but my mom actually picks my TBR every month. She always has like a fun little theme to go along with why she chose the books that she chose. So this month's theme has to do with my going back to school. I'm going back to school to be an ECE which is early childhood educator and so she decided to pick books that were based on the primary and the secondary colors because those are the things that I'm going to be teaching children. So she picked all of the books based off of red, blue, yellow, green, purple, orange, you know, primary, secondary colors. So without further ado, let us get started. So the first book or color she chose was red and it is Only Ashes Remain by Rebecca Schaefer. This is the sequel to Not Even Bones. I read the book in 2019, I believe, and it's a lot of fun. I really, really liked it and I just haven't picked up the sequel yet. So this is my chance because it is a red book. It follows a girl named Nita who gets sold to the black market because she has this ability where she can heal herself and that makes her very valuable on the black market. And now she is back with the next part of her story, which I obviously don't want to give any spoilers for the first book so we'll just leave it at that but I'm really excited for this one I think it's gonna be really good because I absolutely love the first book the next book is our blue book and that is words in deep blue by Kath Crowley and book follows a girl named Rachel who years ago left a note for a boy that she had a crush on in a book at his family's bookstore he never ends up responding to this note and she ends up moving away years later she moves back to her hometown and she ends up working in the bookstore with this boy. She doesn't actually know if he ever got her letter, but as they work together more and grow closer together, they start leaving notes for each other in books, so I'm assuming that he saw it. But they start growing closer, she's dealing with a lot, he's dealing with a lot, and it's like them dealing with their shit together. I don't know, I'm sure it's gonna be like a contemporary romance, coming of age type of situation, but this is the blue book. Next up is our yellow book, and that is The Majesties by Tiffany Sand. And this book is a thriller. I did not think it was a thriller based off of the cover. I just did not put that together. But it is about these two sisters who are dealing with one of the sisters trying to poison their entire family. The other sister who didn't do the poisoning wakes up from her coma and is now dealing with you know, being told she was poisoned by her sister and it's like the story of that. It says that it is a riveting and disquieting thriller about the secrets and betrayals that can accompany exorbitant wealth. Two sisters from a Chinese Indonesian dynasty grapple with the past after one of them poisons their entire family. So, I'm here for poisoning, obviously not of me or other people in general, but in a book it's okay because it's not real. I think it sounds really good, so I'm excited. And now moving on to our secondary colors. For purple, she chose The Bone Witch by Rin Chupeco, and this has been on my TBR for a really long time. I'm pretty sure like everybody at this point has read the book, and it's about like necromancy and witches, and I am here for that. I think it sounds really cool, and I'm hoping that I really like it because I want to keep it on my shelf because the cover is really pretty. Next is our green book and that is Eliza and Her Monsters by Francesca Zappia. This follows a girl who creates an online webcomic and that's kind of like her safe haven. That is until a boy named Wallace moves to her school. He's actually the biggest fan fiction writer based off of her comic. They become friends and he thinks that she is just another big fan of the series but then her secret that she is the creator comes to light and things get a little bit rocky and she doesn't have her safe haven anymore and it's kind of like the story of that. I am really intrigued by this one because it has like a lot of mixed media in it which I am a big fan of in books. Some of my favorite books have that mixed media element to it so there's a lot of drawings and like messages and stuff based off of the comic so I'm really excited to check it out. I'm hoping that it's going to be a really good time. It's not pretty underneath that's what I was checking for but I think it's going to be really fun so green book. And then the final color or book that she chose was the last secondary color, orange, and it is The Fall of Butterflies by Andrea Ports. This was actually on my TBR like a couple months ago and I never read it. But this follows a girl named Willa Parker who's never really felt like she belonged anywhere. She gets enrolled into a very elite private school based off of her mother who is a famous artist. Willa doesn't think that she's going to fit in at this new school but then she meets a mysterious girl named Remy and she finally feels 
feels like she belonged somewhere. And then Remy starts spiraling a little bit out of control. So she needs to deal with her new friendship and it falling apart because Remy is going off the deep end. And it's like the story of that. I personally think that this should be lesbians, but it specifically says friendship. So I'm hoping that it's lesbians and they're not just like queer baiting me based off of the synopsis, but we'll see. Hoping for it. Fingers crossed for lesbians. All right, everybody. So that was my TBR for January 2021. I have no idea if any of these books are going to be read because like I said, I'm going back to school starting actually today, January 6th. So we'll see if anything gets read, but let me know down below if you have read any of these books and what you thought of them. And I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye.